have a 2002 Mazda Protege 5 automatic. It's got about 165,000 miles and there's some clunking going on around in the front end. So one of the linkages or bushings or so forth. So it's been about 55,000 miles since the brakes have been done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The power of the dark side, 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 side. So anyway, this is it. On this car, it's just easier to jack both sides up, put both sides on jack stands and pull both wheels uh, at the same time. That way, when you do one side, if you forget something, you can come over to the other side and see what it looks like. So, we'll get back in here and then We'll get a little pry bar and then we'll see if there's much movement here, here. <clears throat> this is the front sway bar. This would be the front sway bar end link, I guess. Say, there's bushings there. Get out, say. Then there's some bushings that'll be up, up there. Can't see it, but it'll be right there. The thing that's holding this on. Alright, so this is interesting. These brake calipers are not what I'm used to, so I'm going to have to use the phone to see if I can see how this thing is held on. It's not by a bolt. Alright. Is that a hex? Alright, um... So, it's as if I'm using the camera in selfie mode here. But as you see, what I'm trying to do is figure out what I've got right here. I can't see it without the camera. So, is it a hex bolt? I need some light. Oh man, come on. All right, well I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. See, and up here, there's no bolt at all up here. So usually you've got a bolt up here and a bolt down there, but it would appear as it's like a hex key. So I gotta go see if I've got that in the house. That was the answer. It is a hex bolt. So that's nice. So it'll just end up being one bolt here. And uh, this will just, the whole assembly will just slide up so you don't have to loosen a bolt up here, which is nice. All right, my phone is going dead, so let me finish up. All right, so it pays to do a little preemptive maintenance here. All right, so here we've got the caliper. Okay, now. One thing is the caliper is staying raised like this by itself. That means that this little slider right here is uh, dry as hell. So we're going to try to do something about that without having to take the entire caliper off. And <clears throat> as you see, it's a uh, front wheel disc brakes and there's one piston. So it's only got one piston. Okay. So here are the brakes that came off of it. They've got about 50,000 miles on them. This one looks all right. They're definitely getting about to be worn out. But this one, as you see, has a big crack going all the way through it. So, the second that that chunk falls off at the end, the little metal rivet that holds it all in from the back has a much higher chance of making its way to the, uh, to the surface right here. And although you see something right here, it's really n it's not anything say so, the rotor is still in excellent shape however that right there would have seen to it otherwise all right so we're gonna swap those out with and here's the other slider dry as hell too say so, with the wherever gold premium ceramic brake pads so I've caught a mistake made by the last mechanic first and this is a definite this little part right here, which comes off, pow, see that? That is missing right there. And it's not, it has not fallen anywhere around here. It hasn't fallen. It was not there when I took things apart. Okay. 
that little part right there. So now that could lead to the crack. Here's the new part. That's what I'm searching for right there. Say so that was only 15 bucks. Okay, and I was totally bummed out because in order to get that, I had to had to drive the vehicle. It was just a total bummer on such a terrible day. So anyway, it's too bad we didn't have this kit a little earlier because we could have used more of these parts. That's a nice kit for 20 or 15 bucks. All the goodies. So you can do an entire brake job for eh, 40, $45. If you did a little couponing, which I did not do, eh, you might be able to save yourself $8. So, alright, let's get it done. I didn't bother to videotape any more of the brake job. There really wasn't much to it beyond what we had already looked at. So I went ahead and uh, washed and detailed the car. When I was done, all right, so did a front brake job. Found that one of the uh, one of the little clips was missing off of the uh, the front driver's side wheel. So ran down to the store and got a brake hardware kit. So there it is, once again, 2002 Mazda Protege 5. Nice little car. I drive that car a good bit. I would certainly recommend one. Actually, looks pretty nice for picture taking. All right, well, that's the brake job, and I've already tested it out. Hopefully, it'll work good when I get on the highway. See you later.